here it is, Santa Cruz Beach. The 20th century never ended, huh? We are Susie and Martin, a couple of longtime Seattle residents looking to escape the rain. So we're heading to Northern California for a few weeks and taking our baby Julian on his first long road trip. In this episode, we head north of Monterey Bay to Santa Cruz, a classic surf town that's home to the vintage boardwalk and the century-old Santa Cruz Wharf, which is the longest structure of its kind on the west coast. Another sunny day here on Monterey Bay. This time we came to Santa Cruz. So it's kind of like an old school boardwalk with a lot of arcades and roller coasters and fair kind of activities. So we're gonna go check it out. Yeah, it feels like time has frozen in the last 50 years or so. And it's the golden age again, before everything went down. So it's pretty interesting because um, I'm actually not from around here, so I don't feel nostalgia for this style, but I think people from here like it. One thing to mention about the whole golden age style and that type of development is entirely geared towards cars. As you can see right here, we're walking on a dock, which is a tourist attraction, and cars are driving and parking on the dock, which to me is mind blowing. But the sea itself is very nice. It's right off here. It looks great. On the right side, we have some nice restaurants, kind of vintage old flair. And they've put out some dining and on the left side is entirely a parking lot. A very strange choice. What's cool about all these bars and restaurants is that they're right on the back of the dock and you get uh, water view inside every single one of them. See how they've turned half the thing into a parking lot. It, it's such a crazy choice. The reason I'm mentioning that so much is because it shows such a blunder when it comes to that era's urban planning or whatever planning, tourism planning. Um, you could make it so much more pleasant and there are so many fine examples of doing this But this is not the way It just ruins the whole vibe Some boats with pirates are going out to sea and People are fishing off the dock So we were walking on the other side of the pier And heard some seals And so we came over to some of these looking or viewing points where people are kind of congregating And we found a lot of seals We found the mother load. So many seals or sea lions, I can't tell, but they're, they're all sleeping out here at the end of the dock. One thing that's funny is that they're um, high up there, as if they jumped, but someone made the point that it's probably because of the tide. At some point it was easy to get up there. Right now I don't quite see them jumping that oh, high. Did you see all the babies? There's like a cluster of babies. The ones that are there? swimming? Oh, I yeah, see. down I'll, there. I'll get them now. Lots of volleyball courts here on the beach in Santa Cruz. A lot of people playing, it's great to see. Now we're gonna do this boardwalk, which is kind of famous, I guess. One thing to say about the Santa Cruz experience is that it definitely goes for nostalgia. They haven't updated this for a long time, you know, meaningful way, they're preserving the style. Here it is, Santa Cruz Beach. It's the main theme park, I think, here, amusement park. And it's open, so you can just go in and you just buy tickets. They don't stop you at the gate, which is nice. The 20th century never ended, huh? Guess not. <laughs> when I look at this, it feels to me like the movies from the 80s or 90s. Yeah, it does. It was this era where America was on top and nothing felt wrong and everyone was having fun and that's it. Now it's frozen in time. We do, and I'm sure some are better than others, but I have never seen them done in this kind of classic, abundant manner. This one is cool that it's preserved because I've seen one, like you mentioned, in San Diego, yeah. but it looks very dated. So this one is kept up. Yeah, this is a lot bigger than the one in San Diego. <coughs> yeah, it's big. So if you wanted to experience it just the way it was, come here to Santa Cruz. And the cool thing is it's right on the beach where you can go and dip. Yep. You can hang out at the beach or you can come and do this. And you can also trade, you know, some kids may like to play, some may want the beach. One thing to say is um, even though we're north of Monterey, it actually feels a lot more southern, it's hotter, and the vibes are more like SoCal here in Santa Cruz. Very much, yep. Interesting thing, uh, Monterey feels like a totally different vibe in here. Personally, I prefer the Monterey vibe, maybe because I'm European. 
or of course I like natural beauty, which is kind of the main thing there. But this is like an amusement park experience, totally different. Yeah. Vintage Americana right here, deep fried Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the deep fried butter? Oh God, why? Your favorite. No, oh, I kind of want to do it. I think the line was actually back there. It's always deceptive how slow it is when it's climbing. Right at the top is where you're going to go, boom. So I am the killjoy here today because I really dislike these kind of rides. They, all they do is jerk me around and make me want to throw up. <laughs> but you like roller coasters, right? There's like two different camps, right? Some people really love them, some people really love them. Yeah. Love them That's right. So I'd rather take videos of otters and jog by the beach in the morning than get jerked around till I throw up. I mean, I like doing that too, but I also <laughs> like a little bit of, I don't know. Of excitement. jerking action. <laughs> yeah, I gotta check the line. If the line's not too ridiculous, I might have to do it. Let's see. By the way, this is the dreaded pandemic, you know? This is how people are so scared right now. <laughs> they don't go out and they're all wearing masks. Just kidding, nobody cares. <laughs> Susie went to do her roller coaster, which is not my thing, and I'm hanging out with Julian here. It's amusing to me, but it's not something that is quite up my taste here. You know, it's, it's kind of a silly thing that I don't partake in. And I'm looking for something that's not very poisonous to eat. I'm getting a milkshake, which is still bad for me, but hopefully it's semi-decent not gonna kill me at once. I found the best part of this whole boardwalk thing here. The backside where it's shady and quiet and not crowded and no obnoxious music. Oh, there it goes. Um, there was a better part here. But Julian is much happier here. I don't think he likes the heat. See, he's smiling here. He was much crankier earlier. I think he's with me that it's not the best environment but some people may think it's fun. Eight-year-olds or ten-year-olds or something. Not a five-month-old and his father. Well, I did the uh, roller coaster. It was indeed pretty jerky, but it was a lot of fun. Julian, he's had about enough of this place. Yeah, he's not quite old enough to enjoy it. So we're going to do one more thing and then we're going to get out of here. There's a game I'm going to indulge in. It's called Knockdown, where you throw something to blast the clowns because we do live in a clown world and they have it coming it's only five points oh well you can do it for a while then here we go those clowns are gonna get it it's actually pretty limited you only have three throws i don't have technique i never played baseball close close very Between close them. yeah ah. zero wow. clowns all right let's try one more time ah. nope <laughs> There, there, one clown. Ah, close, sad. I couldn't get too many clowns to avenge us for subjecting us to life in the clown world <laughs> that we have to deal with daily. All right, we hit enough of this place. We're gonna try to find a nice beach nearby and try to see if it's, how should I put it, a little less plebeian. <laughs> it's gonna be sunset here in probably about an hour and a half. So we figure we might as well just go around and see if there's another view. We're chasing sunsets in California. Okay, Julian, first railroad crossing. Risky business, watching the sunset in California. Wow, look at this grove though. Not bad for a last minute sunset spot. Yeah, we were running out of time, so. We had to wake up Julian a little bit, but he was about ready to get up. Yeah, he had his little nap. Yeah. But yeah, this is pretty epic. Okay, we found the sweet spot for sunset here, overlooking the beach and the sun is setting on this side. Very pretty. It's not too precarious, though you don't want to make wrong steps. Yeah, there are lots of warning signs as we are approaching here, but definitely it's gorgeous. This is not a bad spot for just having to come up with something at the last minute and having mm. tried a couple of other places that didn't quite work out. And this one just happened to be perfect. 
Dear, that's the killer shot right here. <laughs> hey, Julian. Dear. Baby. <laughs> you see daddy back there? <laughs> We're watching the sunset. Well, another good day in the books or on camera. <laughs> yeah. And in the mental register. Mm -hmm. We've seen so much already. We're halfway through our trip. We're not even done yet. That's so crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a really, really awesome stay. California really impressed this time. You know, California gets a bad name, I think, because of LA and San Francisco and some of the other cities, but there's so much more to California than those two places. It's an enormous state with some of the best nature you can find, some of the best weather you can find, a lot of things to do here. You never run out, really, if you are near. It probably has a bright future if it can get it down because there's so much to treasure here. 